Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today we have what is the next big thing happening for you in the next week. So we have group number one with the yellow calcite, group number two with the tiger's eye and group number three with the garnet. So please choose group number one, two or three and let's get started. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one, let's see what's happening for you in one week. We have Aqua Aura, healthy communication in relationships, heart to heart discussions and clear assertive communication help you to be, help you to be, un, help you to understand and be understood. We have compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free, set you free, <laughs> don't know what that means, set you free. See the light in yourself and others. Angel light, spiritual or religious community. Join with like minded people for friendship and increase spiritual growth. We then have emotions are running high. From the zodiac signs, we have Gemini and Sagittarius. Just for clarification, doesn't have to include the star signs, could also be you. And we also have Temperance, Two of Cups, and Strength. So I feel like for some of you, the next big thing that's happening in a week is you. Uh, you are coming together with yourself and being compassionate with who you are I feel like this is for a lot of Gemini's it can be quite difficult for your identity and the self because there is two parts of you where you feel like um, you need to kind of attach to other people to kind of have that sort of like to get your own identity it can come from other people and obviously I'm not judging Gemini's I love Gemini's um, but I feel like for a lot of them it can be, or for a lot of you guys who are obviously Gemini's, um, it can be quite difficult for you to kind of get that into perspective and kind of be grounded in who you actually are, discover who you are. And I feel like this week you're going to discover who you really are. And for some of you I feel like you can actually be in communication with um, a relationship. I feel like you can start a relationship if you are single. Obviously if you're in a relationship the communication could get really, really good. Um, but there's definitely a lot of emotions running high so make sure to be compassionate to yourself I love the fact that compassion and emotions are running high both purple I feel like that's very very like connected and I feel like the more you connect with spiritual and like minded people who are a lot like you I feel like that's going to really help you to balance yourself out and I feel like for a lot of you it's been quite a difficult time over the last few weeks a um, few months even could be a few years even especially to do with like um, connecting with who you are and figuring out what to actually do with yourself basically i feel like you're essentially a lot of you are actually just coming into spirituality and you're almost dipping your toe in the water with this temperance card um the angel is dipping its toe into the water just a little bit so i feel like for a lot of you to be compassionate to yourself is actually quite a new thing and you're really coming into this i feel like somebody's also going to give you a compassionate message um could be love could just be general generally a friendship but I feel like it's definitely going to be a union. It could be to do with somebody and you having an actual relationship. Or it could be just a union with yourself. So that's your quick message for today. That's the next massive thing, big thing, big change that's going to come for you in the next week. Um, I really hope this resonates with you guys. And remember to keep your strength up. I feel like for a lot of you it's going to be really, really important for you to meditate. And to um, talk about how you feel. Communication is going to be really, really important. Okay, so really, really work on your throat chakra. So thank you so much for watching. If this resonated, please feel free to um, comment down below. Um, comment down below, leave a like. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, feel free, the red button is down below. If you'd like to get a private reading with me, all the information is down below. And you can message me on email or you can message me on Instagram. So thank you so much, group one, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number two with the tiger's eye. So let's see what's going on for you guys uh, for the next big change that's coming for you in a week. So we have smoky quartz, clearing negativity, beautiful, I love that. Expansion, wow. Spread your wings and soar, share your message and shine your light, show the world what you're made of. We also have you are good enough, okay, perfect. I love all this energy, it's so gorgeous. And we also have Taurus and Scorpio. This could just be general, um, you could be your sign, could be somebody else's sign, could just, could just be clarification. If it doesn't resonate, then just let that part fly, okay. Ace of Wands. Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. I need to cough. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, so you guys are really clearing out negativity from within and around you. This could be to do with a certain person and basically you feeling that you're good enough. 
but I feel like it's also the fact that you're actually coming out of this energy and you're really feeling into what feels good for you I feel like there's some energy in terms of new people coming in in terms of work and I feel like could even be love like an olive branch I feel like it could be somebody who wants who wants to go on a date with you but I feel like once you clear out this negative energy um, of knowing that you're good enough, you could also be a Virgo or Virgo rising or Virgo moon. I could have just Virgo very prominently in your chart. I feel like for a lot of you, you're really kind of connecting with those emotions that you really haven't connected to in a long time. Um, sorry, there's a mark on my table. It's annoying me being in my Virgo-ness. <laughs> and uh, I'm Virgo rising, by the way, guys. <laughs> That's like a proper Virgo thing to do, just like tidy up as I'm, as I'm doing the reading. Um, and then we also have the Ten of Wands. So as I say, you guys are at the end of this cycle. You're coming out of this. You're expanding. You guys are going to get a really good offer in the next week. I feel like you're really purging. And for a lot of you, I feel like this resonates for a lot for me because I'm currently trying to get through um, my uh, physical illness. I'm just kind of like getting through me being ill at the moment. So if a lot of you are being uh, are ill or kind of getting old symptoms, that is going to pass, I feel like, soon. And I just got a massive ringing in my ear. So that's going to be... It's going to come through really soon. Like a lot of you guys are going to be clearing a lot of negativity. And there's going to be just communication with some people. I feel like you're going to be um, celebrating with um, some friends. Possibly in groups of three. It could be two other friends. You you with um, two other friends. It could also be you with um, a show me like you and a couple could be hanging out. Or you with a partner and hanging out with a friend. So as I say three people. As I say, somebody's going to offer you something really, really good. I'm not sure what it is. It can be to do with money, but I feel like it, it can also be to do with just generally your lifestyle. It can just be something really, really good that you've always wanted. It doesn't have to be love, but it can be something you're going to really love, okay? Um, and I feel like you're just really going to be soaring through this energy, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. Clearing negativities, this, this card suggests to um, sage yourself, to um, get out in nature, to meditate, and to also just generally embrace who you are and to know that you have a gorgeous fire inside you which is showing me in this card it has like its fire and to show this to the world and to know that you are perfectly capable of um getting through this energy because you are you're expanding and it's absolutely beautiful and the reason why this energy might be a little bit difficult is because you are expanding and just to keep going keep going guys because this is beautiful like you're coming out of this nasty energy you're going into something really really gorgeous and it's going to be absolutely new it's new and beautiful and it's so amazing this could be a relationship as i said could be a message from somebody could just be generally your whole life it's just going to be flipped and you're going to get a new basically a new life you're going to start over again okay it's going to be a new whole new cycle for you this could be like a 10 20 30 40 year cycle that's just needed to be restarted okay so Thank you so much for watching guys this is the next big thing that's happening to you in 10 days uh, not 10 days in a week sorry <laughs> in a week um and as i say i'm still recovering from being ill so my my head is a bit in the clouds at the moment in these clouds um but uh, thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video please will give it please feel free to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if it resonated if it didn't resonate and just let it fly and also if or choose another group if you'd like to get a private reading with me all the information is down below in the description you can email me or message me on instagram and also if you'd like to subscribe to my channel uh the red button is down below so thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon bye by the way group two i'm going to read you the expansion card because i feel like a lot of you want to know what that is and i do as well so let's have a look expansion you are brilliant no, you're brilliant oh my god you are brilliant talented and it is now time to soar into your success your soul is calling you to share your message shine your light and make a difference have the courage to do the things you are scared of stretch out of your comfort zone and into your potential although you may feel some discomfort at first you will soon feel like pegasus fly out of the clouds and into brighter skies do not allow anyone or anything to clip your wings keep you grounded or make you feel less than who you really are Others may feel uncomfortable as you expand. They are just anxious you will leave them behind. Yeah, basically, that's what it says. They are anxious. They are just anxious you will leave them behind. Instead of shrinking your shirt, oh my god, I'm sorry, I can't speak. Instead of shrinking yourself to appease their fears, stay true to your path and continue soaring higher and shining brighter. By doing this, you will show them how to do the same. It is up to them to have the courage to follow you came here for greatness and it's now time to show the world your magic perfect there you go group two see you later bye hello group three with the garnet let's see what's happening for you in the next week 
so this garnet by the way is actually is red it looks very it's like a really deep red i don't know if you can see that but it's like really gorgeous it's look i say this is my grape crystal because it looks like a, a red grape but i love this it's all about communication sorry not communication yeah maybe but it's made to do with um commitment i was gonna say commitment uh, in relationships and things like that and committing to something being really committed to it so we have spiritual path your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you which prompts you to make necessary life changes abundance enjoy the enjoy the bounty of life your supply is unlimited blessings are coming to you don't let your past hold you back balance spirituality and practicality those two are really connected because like the colors are really standing out to me especially with this turquoise as well very similar and we also have leo this could be just who you're dealing with could be you and could just be um just general um confirmation if it doesn't resonate that's completely fine you can leave that uh leave that message so we have queen of wands justice page of wands ace of swords king of wands and the five of cups so a lot of you probably noticed that we have a queen and a king so this basically means that a lot of you like the crystal suggests that you guys are going to get into a relationship or your commitment is going to a higher level i feel like for a lot of you this is going to be really really good in terms of your abundance um basically i love the fact that the queen and the king are together with justice literally means that there's going to be a new start for you guys so this could be a relationship coming towards you and it's basically letting you guys know that you need to balance yourself out before you get into this relationship because a lot of you could still be looking at the past but looking towards the future also so stop hanging on to this past and don't let the past hold you back okay that doesn't mean that you can't move forward and it doesn't mean you can't go forward with something okay you could also be connecting with a leo you could also be a leo as i said but it doesn't really matter it can just be um just the energy that's kind of surrounding you or it could just be not it doesn't really apply to you it doesn't really matter okay guys so basically for a lot of you meditation is going to be really good for you in terms of connecting to who you are and connecting to this person and I feel like it's just a really good action orientated um, journey here. Basically, speed is picking up and the universe is giving you this ace of swords and saying, look, you can do this. You can go forward with this relationship that you've always wanted. If there's no one around you, this person is going to come in quite soon. For some reason, I'm getting like hairdressing. I'm getting somebody who is very like out there with their clothing they're also somebody who's very spiritual so th that's the indication of this person you possibly could be meeting if you're already in a relationship this, this relationship is just going to get on a high level and you could also start to be talking about spirituality if you haven't already spoken about spirituality with your partner you could be also both going on a spiritual retreat or you could just be going on a spiritual retreat um and also it's a spiritual path as I said, your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. So a lot of you are going to be making life changes in terms of your spirituality. And this is also going to be helping you with your abundance. I feel like positive um, outlook on life, being appreciative for what you already have. And for also to just listening, like I got just I just heard the birds. So I feel like listening to the birds and connecting with nature and positive affirmations are really, really, really going to help you. I love the fact we have spiritual path and we also have balanced spirituality and practicality. It's literally like make sure you're not going too high into your intuition that you're not grounded enough and make sure you're not being too grounded that you're not getting messages coming through and you're not being connected you're, you are connecting on your spiritual path okay um and yeah i think that's literally all i need to say you guys i think you're going to be really really abundant you're possibly going to meet this person through travel um and it can also just be a new new start i'm getting the letter s t q w um z and s just for you guys so thank you so much for watching guys um that's what you're going to have in the next week so i look forward to that thank you so much for watching if this resonated please feel free to give it a big old thumbs up and comment down below if it didn't resonate then just let it fly or choose another group if you'd like to subscribe to my channel please feel free the red button is down below please click that subscribe be part of my family and also if you'd like to or our family and if you'd like to uh, get a private reading with me all the information is on the screen here and all the information is down below also you can email me or message me on instagram so thank you so much guys and i'll speak to you very soon bye